Oh my gosh, the tips. Man, these New Yorkers are rich. Good morning, sunshine! It's week number 11 and today, Monday, I don't go to work until 7 p.m. in Home Depot. So, which gives me the whole day to do errands. And my first agenda for today is to go to Costco. I need to buy groceries and I need to buy a bathroom rug. Why do I need a bathroom rug? Because my floors are getting cold and I cannot afford a carpet. So, a bathroom rug will do just fine and they're cheap. Next, I'm going to return some stuff that I bought in Amazon which I don't need and I need to buy other stuff so I'm going to return this stuff. Anyway, it's going to be a full day for us and an adventurous week so let's get started. So this is my alternative to a carpet, a bathroom rug. I'm outside Amazon Go. I don't have any idea how it works. There's no person. There's nobody inside. It's like those contactless uh, returns. So I'm going to go to YouTube to research how in the world I'm supposed to go and drop off all these returns. Finally, there's someone. Hi, bro. Yeah, I got a return. Uh, okay, I have no idea what to do. So these two apps here, uh, mainly the top one if you do not have the bottom one. And if you want to return, and only do a return, you still have to scan it. Okay, and then where's and then the return box? you will come box? to the back. Yep, you will come to the back area. Gotcha. And you will see a computer button in the back and that process the return for you. Gotcha, okay, I got those. Wala nito sa bundok, man. <laughs> Grabe, wala nito sa bundok. So, I go around and I just pick up something and it's going to be charged into my Amazon account. Since I'm already here, might as well grab something. And then something at least cheap. <laughs> Let's see how this thing works. I guess I'm I'm getting chocolate. So I went out with a pack of M&Ms, and I don't know if I'm gonna be charged or what. So it's uh, drizzling a bit, and that's a problem because I didn't bring my waterproof coat because the weather report said that it won't uh, hopefully this is just like morning dew uh, because if it does rain that'd be a big problem yep it's raining <laughs> so I just received an email for uh, my payslip for this walking gig and while the hourly rate is of course expected. Oh my gosh, the tips. Man, these New Yorkers are rich. I mean, and it's not even a full-time gig. This is a part-time gig for me. Man, just imagine if I work like six days at 10 hours. Oh my gosh, I'd be so set in New York. Oh my God, I love this job. I'm already like 15 minutes late. And I'm sleepy. <sighs> like end at 10 p.m. But we just gotta go. I'm doing a vlog. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if I'm successful doing this, man. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's not cutting, man. There you go, finally. I forgot to bring food for my lunch break. So I decided, you know what? I tried out one of the fast foods outside Home Depot. When I got to the fast food area, man, there was there was people fighting and shouting. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, and then some of the other customers were, you know, got involved because they were recording. Good thing I wasn't recording. Man, it was it was very exciting. Eventful and exciting. But I guess the moral of the story is Instead of buying food, bring your own food. <laughs> Just got home from shift. I got so tired um, yesterday that I actually woke up uh, around lunchtime. And my shift was around 3, so I forgot to record. I was so tired. You know, I'm thankful for today that I don't have 
morning work with the walker thing with the messenger thing because otherwise i don't know how my body can still take it tomorrow i don't have the walking thing again so i'm gonna be trying to sleep early today to get my body used to just waking up early but i'm just thankful for the rest day all right good morning um i feel well rested it's already 11 o'clock in the morning <laughs> i did go out and buy uh food i'm cooking adobo right now there you go which i have to cover uh it's nice to have these breaks uh, that I don't have to start early in the morning and then end late in the evening. I will go to Home Depot at 2 p.m. later um, and then I finish at around 8 but it's really nice to have these breaks. I feel a little <laughs> well rested. My body is not anymore complaining. Alright, adobo again! Mm. 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 Wow. That's good, sir. <laughs> good work, sir. Good work. So yeah, sometimes uh, I deliver up to the fifth floor. Let's imagine all the way down there and then up there. <laughs> it's a good thing though. I only delivered like six groceries or six bags. Just imagine if I had to deliver like 20 on the eighth floor without an elevator. <laughs> It's a good workout though. That looks familiar. But I'm not going there. I'm going to Adidas. Um, I finally bought myself a proper running shoe for my walking gig. This thing over here is probably the most expensive shoe that I've ever bought. But it's okay because uh, it's an investment after all my feet or my asset and technically the shoe did pay for itself so I'm okay with that um, I just hope you know that it lives to its hype and I'm able to maximize this because I don't really mind buying expensive stuff as long as I'm able to use it and maximize it I don't know if it's just me but I think this train is moving too fast or probably because there's not a lot of people, that's why it's light, that's why it's moving too fast. But it's fast. I didn't use my new shoes today. They were so pristine and so new, I didn't want to touch them. <laughs> I mean, if that's a thing. But uh, thinking about it now, maybe I should have actually worn them today. Finally done. Now to my next job, Home Depot. It's a squirrel. I'm going to work today. Um, I don't usually work on a Sunday, but uh, since the walking gig only gave me two days, uh, actually one day next week, uh, I decided to just take this Sunday since on Monday I'm not going to be doing anything so that's going to be my Sabbath. Uh, I'm going to head out and today I'm going to finally use my new <laughs> shoes. Yay! Feels good. It does feel good already. I like these shoes. Okay, 
I don't know if you can see, but uh, there's a lot of people on the other side of the street. It goes all the way back there, like four blocks. Uh, those are the lines for people who are going to vote. So uh, go out and vote. I can't vote because I'm not a citizen, but yeah, go out and vote. Exercise your right. All the way back there. Just imagine if I didn't have a toady for all of this. I mean, this would be too much. It's a good thing I got a trolley. Okay, finally done with my deliveries for today. Then, I'm sorry, what? Huh? I'm sorry, what? I have no, I don't understand. I'm sorry. Train, 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 train one. Ah, the train. Um, okay. Um, you go straight. And then on the corner, you turn this side. Okay, thank okay you, straight thank and you. then this side. All right, guys. Um, thank you very much for liking and commenting in my videos. So this is Shout Out Sunday. So let me give out a shout out and thank you to those who commented and gave a thumbs up for my video last week. Rosemary Labuena. Eugene Esteban, thank you. Twinkle, how are you? Twinkle, thanks Twinkle. Daryl Reyes, also Daryl, what's up man? Miss Carol, oh my gosh. Miss Carol is my co-worker in my high school where I used to teach and she ratted me out that I was a celebrity in the Philippines. So pretty much everybody now knows in school that I used to be an actor. <laughs> I miss you Miss Carol. Chodorico Gonzalez, Nemesis Santiago. Shaina Amiskua, Jennifer Peñares, Cedorico Gonzalez, Jari K. Barot, and my nieces Aisha and Maya. Wow, what a week. I'm really tired right now. I'm pretty beat up. And uh, before I go though, uh, there is something that has been going in my mind that I was not able to talk uh, in depth throughout the uh, following the couple of days in, in the blog. And... Since I've been working, you know, for those of you who don't know, I work two jobs. So in the morning, I have a walking gig called Breakaway Couriers. And then in the afternoon or in the evenings, I go to Home Depot. It used to be that I had three jobs, but I quit because my body cannot take it anymore. And my time, you know, my schedules don't work. Um, so I'm pretty busy and I'm doing a lot of stuff. And these couple of, you know, past few days, I have been thinking and been asking myself what is it all for because I am busy but I'm feel like I'm not really moving forward so I did a reassessment of everything and then I realized you know just go back to the first mission the, re the reason I'm here in New York right now is because I want to penetrate uh, the entertainment industry and I can't do that if I'm if I'm doing just jobs so part of part of the game plan is to actually dish out more content and just become creative so in that case I mean in that light I'm gonna do more content not just our weekly thing but uh, I'm going to release something also midweek whatever that looks like I still have to figure out but uh, I'm following this uh, great psychologist uh, doctor uh, of psychology uh, who's an author called Angela Duxworth. I mean, she's Angela Duxworth. She wrote a book called uh, The Power of Grit. I will link her TED Talk. Anyway, uh, the gist of what she's saying is if you want to be successful in something, you have to try hard and become better every single time. So, if my direction is going to entertainment, and breaking into that industry then I have to uh, try to do more towards uh, that direction okay so I'm pretty beat up right now and I'm so tired I'm, I'm trying to figure out what witty thing to say to end this video but uh, I could and you know I can't so um, again this is wacky tupas and I will not just see you next week but in a couple of days with my new content. Bye! <laughs>